PC Crash 10.2 lets you apply uh, specified velocities to joints, uh, which finally enables the much requested feature of being able to drive over a pedestrian. Here we have a multi-body car. So this is not actually a PC Crash vehicle, it's a multi-body system uh, set up with rotary joints at the wheels. Uh, and if you take a look at the joint types, the uh, rear wheels here are set up with a specified velocity. With the coordinate system we have, that means that it, uh, it'll apply this torque to keep the wheels rotating at that rate in radians per second. You see the front wheels have no specified velocity or joint friction, so they're freewheeling. Well, this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. So running the simulation, you see that this contacts our pedestrian, knocks it over, but the front wheels, because there are no torques, actually get arrested by the friction with the contact with the pedestrian and just slide along, pushing our hapless pedestrian forward in an unfortunate way. So what I'm going to do now is apply a joint torque with a specified joint velocity to the front wheels as well, making it four-wheel drive, enabling that drive over. So again, going to the joints tab here, see I've got minus 10 rad per second as my specified speed. So I'm going to do the same with these joints here. Again, that minus 10 is just because of the coordinate system being used for the joints in this case. I rerun it, and now all four wheels are accelerating the vehicle. And now this wheel contacting the pedestrian is powered. That friction will be overcome. And the wheel will go up onto the pedestrian. Drives over, and the rear wheel as well comes over the pedestrian. So if we look in our 3D view, now you can see it actually drives over. We even have some suspension built into this model. It goes over the pedestrian. So that's uh, specifying uh, joint velocities in PC Crash.